Aloha y'all, welcome back to Peach Treasures. Today for you I have a mug and glassware haul, some of my favorite things to collect and to buy to sell on eBay. They are inexpensive for the most part and plentiful in the store no matter where you go. So thank you for watching and enjoy! All right, let's get started. Look at all of these wonderful mugs and glassware. I picked this up at St. Vincent's for 41 cents, and I really like it. It's like a bird cage, but no, actually, I think it's a gate. Could be both. It's a footed frosted glass, um, almost like a chalice. I feel like it looks like the mid-century modern artist George Brirard, who made a bunch of glassware. Um, I can't wait to figure out if that's true, because I love it. All right, next we have a Dresden Sprays Roy Kirkham Fine Bone China Made in England, 1995. Very beautiful little teacup, mug. Um, very cute. Should sell about $12 plus shipping, I hope. I think it's beautiful. It was only 95 cents. Um, this was a Sweden mug souvenir and i know that because it says souvenir sweden alan fink sorry about the focus um it reminds me of that movie midsummer give me a thumbs up if you've seen that movie it is so freaky um it's about a cult in sweden and i know this this is probably not related at all it's just showing their uh folk dance around a maypole and i love it love it love it love it very cute. I might keep it because it reminds me of Midsummer. Um, if you know what that means, let me know. Maybe I'll put it up above. Um, but I thought it was cute. Don't know how much it would go for. This one is a DiSorono, um Amaretto Original mug. Hand painted. It was $1.50. And I love it. I love uh, alcohol related mugs and cups. Let's come over here. This was $0.41. Cents. And it, I don't know, it's really, really cool. It's from France. Uh, it has pina colada, margarita, cosmopolitan, mojito. Mmm, I want all of those. Tequila sunrise, pina colada. And anyways, I already said that. It's one of those almost like shaker glasses with no top, but it can work as like a pint glass. Love it. 41 cents. Mad Tavern. This was 41 cents as well. Because if the glassware doesn't have a price, it's 69 cents, and then it was 40% off that. You can't beat those uh, prices. I just really like this mug. It reminds me of the Cheshire, Cheshire Cat. And yeah, probably for me. Um, this is a popular beer, Dragon's Milk White. Um, it's like a little snifter glass. No, probably not. I, I want to learn more about the styles of glass. I know some of them, but not all of them. Uh, this I see quite often, actually, and they don't go for as much as you would think. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, collectible mug, I mean, a <laughs> chalice glass, uh, December 2001, so, wow, 19 years old, it's almost vintage. I love it, 41 cents. Now, this mug, I absolutely love. I think they call it a travel mug because, you know, it has the non-skid, or non-slip, um, bottom and these are trilobite fossils not real obviously but it's huge heavy duty really cool it comes with the spill proof lid um, which we thought was interesting because it pops right out I don't think you're supposed to drink with it I think you're just supposed to oh I guess you can anyways really really cool no brand if you know the brand let me know but I need to do some further research a dollar forty nine can't beat that price now, these teacups were really cheap, 95 cents for both. Look at that gold detailing on the rim. And it is, how about I do that? It is Lennox. Lennox is a great brand. Windsor by Lennox, M161. I noticed there's several Windsor brands. Um, 
But yeah, that's part of their line. Now this one, look at that. Gorgeous. And look at that angled handle. It says Winterling Schwarzenbach, Bavaria, Germany. So I'm going to look that up. I just think it's really pretty as a display piece. Very atomic looking, except for the rose. But anyways, I just love it anyways. Um, let's move along over here. Um, we have one of these in our stores already, in our store. Um, 41 cents, so I picked it up. Same with this one. We don't have the barrel one, so we will list that separately. Or maybe do it as a pair. Really cool collectible glass. Um, this is heavy duty. Um, it's a Rose Bowl 2006 championship bound uh, UT Longhorns. And when you flip it around, it says it's made of pewter. Fine pewter. And this was only 69 cents. I think it could go for about 25 plus shipping, and it's pretty heavy. We will see. Can't beat that price, though. And remember, our eBay store is linked down below. Don't feel obligated to buy from us, though. I just like sharing what we get, and you might learn a little bit about what we like to pick up from thrift stores to sell. Um, this is $0.41, cents, Dallas Cowboys Coat Glass Vintage. Doesn't have a year on it, but it's Libby. You can tell because it has an L. And moving right along, I'm not a huge, you know, football fan. I'm more of a thrift fan. Um, this is, oh, oh, Black Oak Art. I couldn't even read it in the store. Waco, Texas, handmade pottery. I think it's beautiful. They go for about 20 because um, it is handmade and very fine. It reminds me of Deneen, just that, maybe that embossed stamp. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. It was a dollar. And now, let's go to some of my favorite. I, I just love Starbucks mugs. Very collectible. The market varies big time. San Francisco. This is part of this Series 1 Barista Series. Oh, Skyline Series. So, anyways, it is 2002. Almost vintage. Wow. Um, and they're still making mugs, so I love that. Um, these come out almost every year. Um... Tall is obviously the small size. These were $2 each, but I think we can pair them up together. This one is actually from 2010, and I got two of them, so either we can... I think I actually want to sell as a pair. Um, this, I thought, was super cool. It's a just heavy-duty plastic reusable tumbler. Mary Coffee. Starbucks. And it actually doesn't go for much at all. I'm probably going to keep it. If I had a set of a lot of them, I might want to sell them, but it's just not worth it. It was a dollar. Now, this was 95 cents. It is a never open Southwest Airlines community coffee tumbler. Uh, yeah, enough said. From, ooh, it's really hard to see, Whirly Industries. Wait. I don't know. Okay, but that'll sell, I don't know. I'll put it up. We'll see. Let's move over here so I can reach it. Um, this is super cool. It's very my style. This is just to go with my collection. As you can tell, it's pretty old. Whistle for your beer. And it has a little whistle right there. This was $2. Wet your whistle. So cute. Um, these are Benihana mugs. I could spot them a mile away. Very identifiable, especially because it says it right there. Um... There's some knockoffs that usually don't say Benihana. Um, and I know older ones sometimes were made from orchids of Hawaii. Um, I got one for me, one for my brother. We collect these. We want one of each, uh, $1.49 each, and that's a pretty good price. Now, these I thought were made in China and nothing special, but I loved the handle, and I loved what they had on them. And Christmas was half off at St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store. So cute. And then I saw, you can barely read it, Pier 1. So these are vintage Pier 1 mugs. I love it so much. They were 70 cents each. These are a pair. I'll probably sell them as a pair. And this one is different. Little dog with eyes. So cute. Uh, maybe I'll do all three together. We'll see. Um, now this brand is really good. Not as good as I thought when it comes to this style of mug. 
They are Villaroy and Bach, which is a great brand. We just sold a cat bank for sixty dollars. Um, you can see that in one of my Santa Fe, New Mexico um, videos. But hold on, let me focus. Um, Switch three Costa porcelain Germany, um, and it has this kind of scallop shape, as you can see right there. And there's a set of four at fifty cents each, so two bucks. Probably gonna sell them in sets of two. Um, maybe for 15 we'll see um, this it has three we'll probably sell it as a set of three a dollar fifty each same series Villaroy and Bach switch three Castell and it's porcelain from Germany so yeah 50 cents a piece that was a great find these are just plastic uh, root beer steins from frosty brand they are a vintage company but they've kept their vintage logo and I love it it's actually good root beer too. Um, I have some in the fridge right now, but um, these are plastic, heavy duty plastic. Um, I'm gonna clean them up. They were only 41 cents a piece. I'll probably keep one and sell them maybe in sets of two. So two sets of two uh, for not that much money. They're very light. They're just a little big. Um, this mug just sold for $21 plus shipping. I get by with a little help from my friends. John Lennon and Paul McCartney, and it's Hallmark, um, 1995. Well, no, that's just a copyright. Anyways, it looks newer, so I was excited to pick that up for a dollar, actually two dollars, and almost done. This is a set of six that I got for four dollars. Now, some of them have little chips on the bottom, like that one right there, but it's William Sonoma, so I'm optimistic. Irish coffee. Oh, and they're all different. Mold cider. See, they still have those little chips. Maybe since they're out of, on the bottom, people won't mind. Hot toddy. So cute. Eggnog. Swedish glurg. Gla. I thought it was grog, but it's not. Uh, hot chocolate. So they're all different winter drinks. And I feel like I need to sell them. Sell them as a set of six to keep them together. So don't know what kind of profit I can make, especially with the chips. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this mug and glassware haul. Got a lot more treasure videos coming up. Please give me a thumbs up so I know you watched this video. I'm trying to grow this channel. Make, leave me a comment, show me some love, and share this video with anyone who you know who likes mugs and thrifting in general. Keep digging for treasure, and remember, even though it looks like hoarding, it's not hoarding, unless you plan on selling it. Like, comment, subscribe, keep digging for treasure, and remember, it's not hoarding if you at least try to sell some of it. Bye-bye, everybody.